Hello everyone, today I'm gonna show you how to make a summer crochet crop top. This top is super fun and easy to make and it's great for summer. I have free written pattern, include this women's sizes, extra small, go up to double XL. It's available on our blog at knitcrowaddict.com. And if you prefer the PDF pinnable version, it's available for purchase on our Etsy. Ravelry and Lovecraft, I'm gonna put all the links in the description below. And for today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you in size small, which is the one that I'm wearing right now. I hope you enjoy and let's get started. For this project, I use 100% organic baby cotton yarn from Ice Yarn in orange color. This is number 3 DK weight yarn. In each ball, it have 115 meter. It is about 125 yards. And for size small, I use about 375 yards. And this kind of yarn, they sell by pack. In one pack, it comes with these four balls. And if you want to substitute yarn, just look for number three, DK weight yarn, and be sure to check the gauge before you start. And I use four millimeter crochet hook, yarn needle, scissors and two stitch markers. Before we start, I want to explain a little bit about this crochet top. So we're going to make in two separate pieces and sew them together. We're going to start with the back panel first. We're going to make the chain this way. The chain when we make going to be the width a cloth. And after that, we're going to crochet back and forth. And also we're going to have some decreasing around here it's gonna be underarm shape all right when we're done with the back panel we're gonna make the front panel basically we're gonna start exactly the same except the last five rows that we're gonna do different because we're gonna make a shorter shape for the front panel okay after we have two panels we're gonna lay them like this and then we're gonna sew the shoulder seam and then fold it in half and sew the side seam. And after that, we're gonna crochet around the edges and we are done. Super easy. Let's talk about the measurement here. The measurement is just for size small, which is the one that I'm gonna show you how to make it in this tutorial. For the body width, a cloth, it is 17 inches. And in the length, it is 14.93 inches. All right. Let's get started. Okay, we're gonna start off with a slip knot. Use any method you prefer to make slip knot. And then I'm gonna make 70 chains loosely. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, 67, 68, 69 and 70. Now I have 70 chain. And row 1 is going to be the wrong side. For an odd number row, going to be the wrong side. We're going to skip 2 chains. And then into the next chain, we're going to make 1 double crochet. So a yarn over hook, insert the hook into that third chain from the hook. And I like to insert into the little bump on the back of the chain. You don't have to do that, totally up to you. And then yarn over, pull up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, and yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. That is a double crochet. And the first two chain that we skip is doesn't count at its stitch. And then we're gonna make one double crochet into each chain a cloth. So a yarn over hook, insert the hook into the next chain. Again, I like to go into the little bump on the back of the chain and yarn over, pull up a loop and make a double crochet. And then double crochet into the next chain and double crochet into the next chain. We're gonna keep repeating this across. I'm at the end of row 1 and I have a total of 68 stitches across. For row 2, we chain 2 and turn. Or you can turn first and chain doesn't matter. And the first 2 chain doesn't count at a stitch. And then we're gonna make 1 double crochet into each stitch across. So after I chain 2 and turn, I yarn over hook, insert the hook into the first stitch here. 
and make a double crochet and then double crochet into the next stitch and double crochet into the next stitch and double crochet into the next stitch okay I'm gonna keep making one double crochet into each stitch across I'm at the end of row 2 here and I have the same 68 stitches across and be careful the first two chain doesn't count it as stitch so don't make the last double crochet into the second chain okay just to make sure all right row 3 to row 12 I'm gonna repeat row 2 and every row I'm gonna have the same amount of these stitches which is 68 stitches I'm gonna show you a little bit on row 3 like I said, we repeat row 2, we chain 2, and then turn. Again, the first 2 chain, never count it as stitch. And then I'm going to make the first double crochet into the first stitch here. And then double crochet into the next stitch. And then you're just going to make one double crochet into each stitch across. Okay, I'm gonna keep repeating row 2 until I reach the end of row 12 and I will be back. I'm at the end of row 12 and here's what it looks like and I hope you have the same. Next, we're gonna start decrease to make this shape. Okay, so row 13, we chain 2 and turn. Again, the first two chain never count it as stitch. And then next, we're gonna decrease. We're gonna make double crochet the first stitch and then the next stitch together. So after I chain two and turn, I yarn over hook, insert the hook into the first stitch, yarn over pull up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over pull through two loops, and then yarn over hook, insert the hook into the next stitch, yarn over pull up a loop. 4 loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through 2 loops and now I have 3 loops on my hook, I yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. That's how we make double crochet 2 stitches together. So those 2 stitches become 1 stitch. Okay, that's how we decrease. And then we're gonna make 1 double crochet into next stitch and then into each stitch until we have 2 stitches left. Double crochet into the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch. Alright, keep doing this until you have two stitches left. Okay, now I have two stitches left. I'm gonna decrease by making double crochet the next stitch and in the last stitch together. Do the same when we decrease at the beginning here. So we yarn over hook, insert the hook into the next stitch, yarn over pull up a loop, yarn over pull through two loops, and then yarn over hook, insert the hook into the next stitch, which is the last stitch. Yarn over pull up a loop, yarn over pull through the first two loops, and now we have three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. So those two stitches become one stitch all right so at the end of row 13 I have a total of 66 stitches across I just decreased two stitches one stitch on each side and for row 14 to row 26 I gonna repeat row 13 and every row I gonna decrease two stitches one stitch on each side and at the end of row 26, I should have a total of 40 stitches left. Okay, I'm going to show you one more row. Don't worry. Row 14, like I said, repeat row 13. We chain 2 and turn. The first 2 chain never count at a stitch. And then I'm going to decrease by making double crochet the first stitch and next stitch together. 
So yarn over hook, insert the hook into the first stitch. Yarn over pull up a loop, yarn over pull through two loops. Yarn over hook, insert the hook into the next stitch. Yarn over pull up a loop, yarn over pull through two loops. And now I have three loops on my hook. I yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. And I just decreased one stitch right there. And then I'm gonna make one double crochet into each stitch until I have two stitches left. Now I have two stitches left and then we're gonna decrease, we're gonna make double crochet the last two stitches together. Yarn over hook, insert the hook into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over hook, insert the hook into the next stitch, which is the last stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. And now I have three loops on my hook, I yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. I just decrease one stitch right there. And at the end of row 14, I have a total of 64 stitches across. I just decrease two stitches, one stitch on each side. All right, I'm gonna keep repeating row 13 until I reach the end of row 26. Again, at the end of row 26, I should have a total of 40 stitches. Okay, I will be back soon. Good luck and take your time. I'm at the end of row 26 and I have 40 stitches left. And for row 27 and row 28, we're gonna stop decrease. We're gonna make one double crochet into each stitch across. And I will show you, don't worry. So for row 27, we chain two and turn. And again, this first two chain, never count it as stitch. And then I'm gonna make one double crochet into each stitch across. So make the first double crochet into the first stitch. And then double crochet into the next stitch. And double crochet into next stitch. Keep repeating this across. I'm at the end of row 27 and I have the same. 40 stitches across. And the final row, row 28. Chain two and turn. And then we're gonna make one double crochet into each stitch across. Do exactly the same as row 27. I'm at the end of row 28 here. And next, you just need to cut the yarn. I already cut my yarn here. And next, you're gonna pull the yarn out. You don't need to leave a long tail, just leave a little bit of tail, just enough to weaving the end later. And yay, we are done with the back panel. And for the front panel, row one to row 23, you're gonna make exactly the same as the back panel. And at the end of row 23, I will have a total of 46 stitches, okay? For row 24 to row 28, we're gonna make the shoulder shape and we're gonna make one at a time. And I will show you, don't worry. So yeah, I'm gonna make row one to row 23 exactly the same and I will be back when I'm at the end of row 23. Okay, now I'm at the end of row 23 for my front panel and I have a total of 46 stitches across. And next, we're gonna make the shoulder shape. We're gonna make one at a time. We're gonna make the left shoulder first. So row 24 is gonna be the left shoulder. We chain two and turn. Again, the first two chain, never count it as stitch. And then we're gonna make double crochet the first two stitches together. We're gonna do the same. Yarn over hook, insert the hook into the first stitch. Yarn over pull up a loop, yarn over pull through two loops, 
yarn over hook, insert the hook into the next stitch, yarn over pull over loop, yarn over pull through two loops, and now I have three loops on my hook, I yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. And then we're gonna make one double crochet into each of next eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, oops, six, seven, Eight. Here's what it looks like. This is the end of row 24. I have nine stitches. For row 25, we chain two and turn. Like I said, we're gonna focus one side at a time. So uh, after chain two and turn, I'm gonna make double crochet the first two stitches together. Do the same. And then I'm gonna make one double crochet into each of next five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. And then I have two stitches left here. I'm gonna make double crochet the last two stitches together. At the end of row 25, I have seven stitches across. Row 26, chain two. And turn. And then make Double crochet the first two stitches together. And then make one double crochet into each of next three stitches. One, two, three, and now I have two stitches left here. I'm gonna make double crochet the last two stitches together. At the end of row 26, I have a total of five stitches. For row 27 and row 28, we're gonna stop decrease. So we chain two and turn. And then make one double crochet into each stitch across. At the end of row 27, I have five stitches across. Row 28, the final row. Chain two and turn and then make one double crochet into each stitch across. And I have the same, five stitches across. And now I'm done with the left shoulder. It's gonna be the left side when you wear it. Okay, next, I'm gonna cut the yarn. I leave a long tail about six inches. We're gonna use this tail to sew the shoulder seam later and then pull the yarn out. And next, we're gonna make the right shoulder. And to do that, we're gonna skip 26 stitches at the middle here for the neckline. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. And then into the next stitch, I insert my hook there. And bring the new yarn. 
and I hold it on the back. Yarn over hook, pull up a loop, and chain two. You can add new yarn any method you prefer. And again, the first two chain doesn't count it is stitch. And then I'm gonna make the first double crochet into the same stitch that I just added new yarn. And then I'm gonna make one double crochet into each stitch until I have two stitches left. I have two stitches left here. I'm gonna make double crochet the last two stitches together. Okay, so this is row 24 on the right shoulder, okay? So at the end of row 24, I have 9 stitches. For row 25, chain 2 and turn. The first 2 chain, never count it as stitch. And then we're gonna make double crochet the first 2 stitches together. And then make one double crochet into each of the next five stitches. And I have two stitches left here. I'm gonna make double crochet the last two stitches together. At the end of row 25, I have a total of 7 stitches. And row 26, chain 2 and turn. And then make uh, double crochet the first 2 stitches together. And then make 1 double crochet into each of the next 3 stitches. And then make double crochet the last two stitches together. At the end of row 26, I have five stitches across. And for row 27 and row 28, we're gonna stop decrease. So we chain two and turn. And then make one double crochet into each stitch across. At the end of row 27, I have the same 5 stitches across, row 28, chain 2 and turn, and then make 1 double crochet into each stitch across. And at the end of row 28, I have 5 stitches across and I'm done. And then I'm just going to cut the yarn and leave about 6 inches long tail. And pull the yarn out. And now we have the back panel and the front panel. Okay, next we're going to sew the shoulder seam. I already went ahead and sew one side here. And to do that, I want you to turn the wrong side of the panels facing up, right side facing down. We're gonna sew on the wrong side. So, I'm gonna use my yarn needle and in the tail that I left earlier to sew, and you can use any method you prefer to sew. I have my tail come from the front panel. I'm gonna insert my needle into the first stitch on the back panel there. I insert into both loops, bring it up, and then I'm going to insert into the first stitch on the front panel and then the back panel one more time, just to lock the yarn. And then insert into the next stitch here and next stitch there, 
both loops bring it up and next stitch here next stitch there both loops we're gonna do this across so next stitch here next stitch there and this is gonna be the last stitch right here and then right there and then I'm gonna weave the end and I will do that later both shoulder so exactly the same and after you're done with the shoulder come back and I will show you how to sew the side seam next we're gonna sew the side seam and to do that fold your top in half at the shoulder seam with the right side facing each other we're gonna sew on the wrong side I already went ahead and sew one side here this is the wrong side and I will show you how to sew on this side so I place my stitch marker at row 12 which is the row right before I start to decrease you gonna cut a new strand of yarn I cut about 18 inches long and I'm gonna use my yarn needle to sew and you can use any method you prefer to sew I'm gonna insert my needle into the first stitch here on the front panel and then first stitch there on the back panel right at the corner bring it up leave a little bit of tail to sew the end later and then I'm gonna insert into the same stitch one more time just to lock the yarn all right so this part a little difficult to see where is the stitches because we sew into the end of each row but whatever you do just make sure uh, both panels are nice and lining up like this not like that okay so I insert into the next stitch right here and next stitch right there and the next stitch right here next stitch right there next stitch right here and next stitch right there next stitch right here next stitch right there don't sew it too tight or too loose check as you go and next stitch right here next stitch right there okay here's what it looks like so far I gonna keep sewing all the way up until I reach the stitch marker which is 12 rows and I will be back okay I reach the stitch marker here and then I gonna weave the end later here's what it look like this is the wrong side and here is the right side beautiful and both sides sew the same next we're gonna crochet around the neckline and to do that turn the top right side out and we're gonna crochet on the right side right now my top is already right side out and then I gonna insert my hook right at the shoulder seam here and then bring the new yarn hold it on the back yarn over hook pull up a loop and chain one the chain one doesn't count it is stitch and then we're gonna crochet into the end of each row of this part okay and I call that space instead into each space I gonna make three single crochet first space will be this one right here so make three single crochet in there one two and three 
and I'm just gonna place the stitch marker into the first single crochet that I made right here and next space right here make three single crochet one two three and the next space here make three single crochet And the next space here, make three single crochet. And the next space here, make three single crochet. And then this part, we're gonna make one single crochet into each stitch until we reach this side so next stitch here make one single crochet one single crochet into the next stitch single crochet into the next keep doing this until you reach the other side this corner and i will be back Okay, I reached the corner here and then I'm gonna make three single crochet into each space up until I reach the shoulder seam. Do the same that we did on the other side. So make three single crochet into this first space here. One, and the next space here, make three single crochet. And the next space here, make three single crochet. And next space here, make three single crochet. And next space here, make three single crochet. Alright, and then I'm gonna make one single crochet into each stitch across the back. Keep doing this across. Okay, I crochet around and I'm at the end here. And next, I'm gonna cut the yarn. Pull the yarn out, and then I'm gonna weave the end. I bring my yarn needle, insert the tail into my yarn needle. You can weave the end now or later, it's totally up to you. And I'm gonna show you how I weave this end. I'm gonna remove that stitch marker, and then skip that stitch that I just removed the stitch marker, and then insert my needle into the next stitch both loops, bring it up, and then insert into the last single crochet that I made where the tail come from. Insert right at the middle and bring it in inside the top like that. See, I just create a new stitch here. That's what I like to do. And yeah, and then I gonna keep weaving the end inside the top and I will do that later. And here's what it looks like. Beautiful. Next, we're gonna crochet around the sleeve edges. I already went ahead and crochet one side here. And I will show you how to crochet on this side and we're gonna crochet on the right side, okay? And then I'm gonna bring the new yarn. I'm gonna insert my hook right at the corner here, the armpit corner. And then bring the new yarn, hold it on the back, yarn over, pull up a loop, and chain one. The chain one doesn't count it as stitch. And I'm gonna crochet into the end of each row around the slip edge, and I call that space instead. So into each space, I'm gonna make one single crochet 
pico and one single crochet all into the same space I'll show you so first space right here I'm gonna make single crochet and then I'm gonna make pico so pico we chain three one two and three and then slip stitch into the little bump on the back of the first chain that we did right here I insert the hook there yarn over pull up a loop and pull it through so that is pickle okay and then I'm gonna make one more single crochet into the same space and here's what it look like and then we're gonna repeat this around into each space next space here make a single crochet and then pickle pickle we chain three and then slip stitch into the little bump on the back of the first chain that we did. Insert the hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, and pull it through. And then make one more single crochet into the same space. And I'm gonna show you a couple more times. Next space here, make a single crochet. And then make pickle. We chain three and then slip stitch into the little bump on the back of the first chain that we did. And then make one more single crochet into the same space. Okay, next space here, make single crochet and then make pickle. So we chain three and then make a slip stitch into the little bump on the first chain that we did. And then make one more single crochet into the same space. Okay, you're gonna keep doing this into each space around the slip eight and I will be back when I'm at the end here. Okay, now I'm at the end here. And next, I'm just gonna cut the yarn and weave the end. And I bring the yarn needle, insert my tail into my yarn needle. And then I'm gonna weave the end. So I insert my needle into the first single crochet here, into both loops. Bring it in. And then I insert my needle back into the last single crochet here, where is the tail come from, right at the middle, and then go to the inside like that. And then I'm gonna weave the end inside the top. I'm gonna keep weaving the end later. And both sides crochet exactly the same and weave all the ends and you are done. I hope you enjoy watching this video and if you make this top, I hope you enjoy making it. I would love to see everyone's work. If you want to share with me, just text me on Facebook or Instagram at knitcrawaddict. I'm gonna put all the links in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next video. Bye bye!